Hello Sagittarius, and welcome to your weekly reading. This message will be for July 15th through the 21st, and we'll have a weekly intention. If you find the message resonates, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you'd like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe. Everyone's always welcome. I offer monthly and weekly readings on a consistent basis. Also, I'd like to touch on these messages are general and they may not resonate for everyone, so take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also reverse roles if that's how it resonates, as well as checking your moon, ascending, rising, any birth chart placement you have will really resonate with you depending on the placement in your birth chart, okay? So, let's get started. The card that came out for you, Sagittarius, of the Psychic Tarot is Intuition. So this card, Sag, invokes the High Priestess energy. Um, in original tarot, it symbolizes secrets being revealed, um, a deeper knowing. In this deck, it symbolizes synchronicities. Um, intuition is knocking at your door, okay? It's a perfect time to seek answers from within. Turning within will help you find solution and valuable insight that you are waiting, that you may have already been waiting for, okay? This card also symbolizes seeing people in a different light, a more deeper light you know, for who they truly are and not just for surface value or what they tell you, okay? So let's see what the tarot has to say about intuition, getting to know people on a deeper level. Most important message for Sagittarius for July 15th through the 22nd. What's the most important message for Sagittarius? So, I feel like there is a family conflict that you are going through. Ten of Pentacles in reverse symbolizes a family conflict. Okay, somebody is expecting certain things of you and you're not willing to... Do those things honestly you it's they want you to be a certain way and you're not going to be that that way it's not going to be that way is what I'm feeling is what I'm sensing I also feel like there's been some betrayal there's been some heartache when it comes to There's definitely a sense of abandonment here, okay? Somebody abandoned you. There, there was something expected to happen and this didn't come to fruition. I'm also getting the sense, the Page of Wands is like communication barrier, not being able to communicate clearly what it is that you need to say, okay? I do feel like there's been a definite ending. Somebody has deceived, manipulated the situation to get what they want out of this. But I feel like there's being justice brought here. Okay? What's working in your favor is the justice card. 
that card is symbolizing that there is going to be balance brought into this situation, okay? And you are not going to have to worry about this, Sag. This is going to happen on its own, okay? The universe has a way of doing these things. I do feel like there, you may have recently or will soon go through an ending that is going to be the end all be all, like the completion of this cycle. Like, okay, if you want to end it, that's fine. It's not ever going to be the same if that's what you want to do. This has taken a lot of strength because I feel like you have been very tied to to a, to somebody. Maybe this heartache is what's causing this family conflict. They've been telling you that this wasn't a good situation and you were ignoring that. Oh my. We have the 5 of pentacles twice, so there's definitely some major abandonment. A lot of indecisive behavior, some not knowing, juggling, not knowing which way to go, which way to turn, right? I do feel like you're taking action. You're not standing for this anymore. You have a desire for something more meaningful. You're realizing that you want something more and you're moving forward. Understand that there is still some grieving that you're going through. This I feel like this was in this last weekend reading. You're going through a grieving process, Sag. There's seven stages of grieving. So be aware, like you're going to have times where you're not going to be so, you're not feeling so strong and you're, wa you're longing for company and longing for this person. Try and understand that these are just emotions that ebb and flow, okay? This is going to pass and if you give in to temptation, you're, go you're kind of in a sense going backward, okay? Reach out to other people if you need assistance, if you need guidance, if you are feeling lonely like you can't move forward. Your power comes from making a decision and sticking with it. Overanalyzing the situation is only keeping you trapped here. So understand that it's a grieving process. If you decide to leave, you're going to have a feeling of going back, especially if you love a person. But you need to understand that everything happens for a reason, okay? So with these Archangel Guidance cards, we have, remember who you are. You are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Prioritize. Focus on your highest priorities. It will help you get organized and motivated. And then life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So, how do we keep our mind off of going backwards? Well, that's easy. Stand in your power. Remember who you are, okay? Take a review of everything that's happened within this relationship. The good, the bad, the ugly, everything. Write it out. Take a review. 
weigh the pros and cons. How many good times compared to how many bad times? Has the bad times become more prominent the, the further along you get in this relationship? It's time to stop ignoring the red flags. You should be your first priority. It's time to remember that. Okay? So that's the message that I have for you tonight, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.